So today's video is going to be ranking the season 3 auditions to get onto the internationals team. I did a video, video on the individual battles who I think should have won but that wasn't me ranking them, that was me deciding who should have won the battle. How this is going to work is I'm going to be ranking all the battles, deciding which one's the best. What I'm looking for is energy but also personality, stage presence and also technique. How well do they do their style? Can they do more than one style? Do they have a drive to want to win? Or are they just someone who's going to give up? Who they're battling against doesn't come to play. It's just basically taking the routine and deciding which one was the best. We're going to start at the bottom. The bottom is James. He didn't do anything because he didn't want to compete against Riley. To be honest, I get why James did it because the names were changed in the hat. It wasn't necessary to happen. So I kind of do get why he, I do get why he did it. Above James I'd put Mackenzie. Her tricks were good. She did look down at the floor. She lacked stage presence. It was average. She showed a lot of nerves. But she executed her moves well. Next we have Skylar. She battled against Sierra and props to her for doing it. The routine on my opinion was rather boring, didn't have much substance to it, lacked energy. I do agree with Miss Kate, she showed the potential but she wasn't quite there but she could go to B troop to then become ready for A troop. She tries her best. Next is Chantal. She did lack personality. Her moves were lacklustre. She didn't really show she wanted to make the team. She is only a bit stronger than Skylar. But she did show more than Skylar, that's why she's where she is. Next is Shan Shannon. Shannon started really well, but nerves got the better of her. Her moves were good, were fluid. Next is Max. I don't think he was that great. Max was definitely not as good in Season 3 as he was in Season 2. His national solo was so good. He had strong movements, but he wasn't very memorable. It wasn't the most well structured. Next is Nick. He bought more than the people below him bought. He gave so much power. Apart from the layout, he wasn't so memorable. Next was Tess, she was memorable, her turns were so good, she had some good kicks, turning leap at the end was good, but she didn't show a wide range of moves. Next is Sierra, she had very good moves, good technique, she did her moves well, but she wasn't that special. Next is Hunter, he did kind of give up because he felt he wasn't good enough to compete against Elden. It didn't live up to a season to audition, which I would pay money to see but it was more in dancing from himself, he had good musicality, he did stir the pot which they said it in the song but it wasn't the best. Next is Eldon, wasn't his best solo, not the most well structured, was not his best, like his best was his national and international solo. His moves were good, he could have been sharper, his turns and flips were good, he did have power Next is Abby, she was so fluid, she showed her flexibility, her stage presence, she showed her placement, she showed she could do a wide range of moves, and the stumble is why she is what she is. Next we have Chloe, she brought her best to audition. The start where she travels from the back to the front was the best bit, she hit her moves, she had good stage presence without the stage face. Good facial expression, she showed she was aware of her competition, she showed her personality. Next is Rochelle. She had nice transitions, everything transitioned nicely. Built up slow and got faster. She had loads of energy which she maintained. As Alden said she created her own moves which showed her personality. I wish she could have done a bit more. Next we have Riley, this was the best time Riley had ever danced, she started slow, it built up. Riley had good musicality, she felt the music in her body. She had good structure, I just wish she showed more of her tricks, because she has got tricks, she just didn't show as many. Next is Jen, she went for it. She bought the fire, she had a wide range of movement. She put everything into it, she had the wow factor.
It was really good. I still agree Jen should have beaten Chloe. Next we have Talia. She was so good. She showed her personality. She showed a wide range of moves and levels. She had 100% effort throughout. She connected to her dance. She had a good solo and she showed she was enjoying her dance. Proved she wanted to make the team. Next is West and he gave 110%. Adding a basketball was so creative, had so much personality, he continued to amaze me. West has so much charisma, he had the performance factor, he had the risk factor implementing a basketball, he ran up the wall and flipped as well, he showed he really wanted to make the team. Next we have Daniel and despite seeing me dance before, he brought something new, and he brought moves he'd never bought before. He was so graceful in his movement, but yet he was so powerful. He like he looked like he wanted to make the team, but nobody liked him, so that's partly why he didn't make the team. He showed no complacency, which some of the people below showed. Second place, we have Amanda. She did very well in this performance. Best performance ever she's ever done. She gave 100% to the performance, she proved she really wanted it. She did a cartwheel despite everyone in A Troop not doing cartwheels. She still went for it and did it. She gave a great performance, her leg holds were good, her leg kicks are amazing, her turns were so good, she's such a good turner, so fast. We all had such a good eye, she showed what she can do to her best ability. And first place we have Giselle. She embodied the song Fire so well. And when I think of Fire, I think of her solo. She had fantastic structure. She picked her best moves. They fitted with the song. All blended nicely together. It had the performance factor, fluidity throughout. She showed more than one style, which I really liked. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.